What's going on world, it's your man Pat Caesar, Caesar LLC, mobile mechanic and roadside services. Look at Mario, look at that cat. <laughs> What's going on y'all? So listen man, we out here right now in Avon Park, we're working on a uh, 1995 Two Funke. I spit on the camera saying that. So uh, listen man, we're going to change out some studs real quick. I'm just going to put y'all on game on how we're going to do this. So what you need to do, go ahead and take off. Well, you're going to have to break the whole thing down. So right now, I just got the hub and the brake shield over here. Now, this doesn't apply to every vehicle, but it's pretty much every front-wheel drive, typically. Uh, import, not necessarily American. We want to take off brake caliper, brake pads, rotor, and then you're down to the studs themselves. And I'm going to show you guys what to do. This is a quick video just for you. Trying to figure out how I'm gonna do this and have my autofocus work perfectly. Mario, come be a cameraman. You dress like one. Hey, that'll work. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's even better. Here you go. Actually, you, you can even this. do this too. That works. No, that's cool. Usually, because the grip works. You there you go. Mario. All right. So what you're gonna need is wheel. at least a 2.5 uh, pound hammer, a 25 pound hammer, and we're gonna find a stud. Typically, there's gonna be a space in between. Right behind the or right on the hub band would be that let that lug nut come out. You find your lug nut, get a good tap, and there you have it. That is how you remove a stud. So to put one in, shout out to O'Reilly's. Appreciate. It. I need to sell parts. We're gonna put this in. Now you're gonna have to wait till you had a wheel back in. I hate aftermarket. I hate aftermarket lug nuts. These things suck, but you got them anyway. You want to protect your rims. Uh, you want to use these. Guys like me can get right past these like nothing. This is great. But uh, you got a new key. Great, great. Want to get your key. Want to get your lug nut. So put it on here. Thread this in. Thread this in. Now you're probably gonna need some sort of washer or something. Need something else to go on here. Put you here. Put you. Put you here for now. Uh, typically, you will use something else that I don't have right now. I'm using Electric Impact. I'll put a link to this down below. So if you guys want to get one, these are the truth. We're gonna put our lug stud in here. Alright. So once you get it snug fit, you're gonna hold your wrench here. And you're going to hit it. Take it back out. So Brandon can roll over here, bro. In the back, you'll come on the back side. You're going to see right here, there's a little bit of gap. Now, this is where this comes in. You see that little bit of carnage there? Take that debris off. When you put the wheel on, what's going to happen is it's going to stud this all the way. What, why you need something that comes at least to here is so you don't end up messing up the thread at the end itself. But this is going to bottom out. It'll work better if you have an open end lug nut so it can go all the way down. This is going to bottom out about here because the rim is going to put more of a gap on it. Okay, and We're going to try it. We need just a little bit more. So I'm going to try to make this work. Let's switch sides here. Come on this side over there. We got a little bit more to go, but I'm gonna get that in there. And how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna put the rim on. But ow! Woo! It's hot. It's hot. It got me. 
So uh, that is how you replace a, a stud on a, uh, a, a bearing. Now, not all of these are going to be the same way. Some hubs going to have the studs built into them, and you can still change it out. It's just more of a pain. Just make sure you try to line up, get it right here, those grooves as much as possible. Because if you're in between them, you'll start to see it spin. This is going to sit a little bit cockeyed sometimes you want to make sure that it's straight is if it's not straight you're not going to be able to get the rim on it's going to bend and do all types of other stuff but as you can see the fat wrist stud has a little bit of space here versus the aftermarket so they're going to be a little bit different that might be why this is not sitting in all the way but once i put the rim on and bolts it all the way in it should come back snug so that's the way you change it any questions give me a shout below like the video go ahead and give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel where you know we boost the best content on doing this man it's all about love all about y'all until next time you hit that be promundo beneficio siempre peace yeah